A very good morning. My name is Alok Shrivastava, and I welcome you once again to Network Nuts YouTube channel. So, what's in this video? Apart from this lovely background and the desktop with the conky working out here, today I am going to explain you a bit about the dig command. I know all of you are familiar with the dig command. Let me open my terminal and just focus on the video rather than the beauty on the screen. Haha. <laughs> okay. So here is my terminal. I am sorry I have just hidden like hide the beauty there but it is a time to focus on the topic r rather than on the babe. So uh, we know the dig command that the dig command is actually used to show by default it is used to show the A record or the IP address of the website that we had queried. Like suppose I give dig www.google.com here it, it, it gives me a lot of output but by default it tells me the IP address of the website where the website is being hosted or the IP address and it also gives me a galore of information right there. So before you can work with a dig command in an efficient manner you should be able to understand these different sections that what is the question section, what is the answer section, the authority section and different things. Fine. So here if I had given the dig command here, I had given the dig command here, the first is the header. This is your header. Header tells me a lot of things about like the version of the dig command. Here it is, the version of the dig command and the global option that we had used. So these things are being displayed like version and the global option used by the dig command in the header section. Then comes the question set. What you have queried by default because I had queried for the A record. It, it is showing me that you had questioned the A record or the IP address of the website. If I give you, I will show you, I will just clear the screen here. If I say hyphen T MX, I am looking for MX. So in the question section you see now it changes to MX that you had queried for the MX record. So by default, if, if you don't specify anything, it by default show you the A record or the IP address of the website. So question means what you had asked for. Then comes the answer se section means what? Very simple answer for your query. This is or these are the answers that has been received by the name server or by the dig command. So these are actually the IP ad addresses of the website that I had just queried. In my case, it was google.com. Then comes your authority section. Authority section indicates that the name servers that has got the authority to answer the query. So by default, it is actually the name servers of the google.com, all these. Authority. Authority means the servers who have got the authority to answer, to give you the answer for your query. And here comes the stat. Stat means it gives you information about the query time and from which server you had queried, the port, other things. So you should be able to understand these sections very carefully before you can continue with the video. I hope the point is clear. Now let's go there and uh, see what are the things that can be done or that can be tweaked with the dig command or how I can use the dig command in a very efficient manner. By default, if, if I give dig www.google.com, it tells me all the things. But look, though it gives you a hell lot of information, like a galore of information like the uh, version, the question, the answer, the authority, the stats, but primarily you are interested in the answer section. Because I know what I have queried, I am least interested in the version number and I am not at all bothered about the time or the stats. So what you are in, you might be interested in or you are interested in the answer section. So for I, I can give like, like this, www.google.com, I can give uh, say specify here plus no comments, C-O-N-N-E-N-T-S comments plus no authority plus no additional plus answer plus no stats that's it look I specified now I had used it in a much better manner I'm not getting all that information additional information so I, I specified the dig I don't want comments I specified no here no comments 
no authority no additional no stats so only add just skip the answer cells section so you will never going to give this command no answer it will be nonsense because you you are getting nothing so just skip this no answer and these are all the things that you are not interested in or there is an easy way out uh, rather than like specifying no command no authority no additional no stats there is an easy way out www.google.com i can give here plus no all plus answer just see here i hadn't specified no here plus answer so that's the easy way out now the question will be coming into your mind then why i had shown you this lengthy option even i don't know the answer who ha look the things are same but it will be much more easier it's much more easier to write this rather than uh, writing about no comments no authority no additional no stats that makes sense that goes so by default the dig is going to give you only the a record you might be interested in some other kind of record like ms record or mx record so to specify the mx record i can just give the same command here again and just specify here hyphen t mx so in this case it is going to show me the mx record of the site i can check on other sites say www.redhead.com there it is so by specifying the mx or i can i might be interested in the ns record so here is the command i just change it from mx to ns the name server of the google and let me give the same command for red hat that's it that's good so in this manner you can specify or want to look for a particular type of record you can give it you can also use a option like dig hyphen t any any means any record say of google.com plus no all plus answer so it gives you ns record a record mx record everything everything any as the name says will show you everything that it found from the google.com and i had suppressed all the options except the answer so i'm getting the answer because it's the answer section that i am more interested in i'm least bothered with the rest of the options right now for this video you can also give like this apart from giving a command like the hy hyphen t or any you can also give like this dig google.com any plus no all plus answer so it's your choice either you give hyphen t any or give google any just take care of the order and there is one more very small uh, like a uh, uh, trick there for the dig command you can give dig say www.google.com plus short only the ip address of the websites now the point is that if why i, I had shown you no all plus answer even i don't know the answer because i am not a dig command actually fine that is a great thing and if i now there is a very interesting thing about the dig command that you can use a different name server to query it look if i give you a dig www.saygoogle.com when the dig executes the command it by default takes the it checks your resolve.conf file and use the name server that has been mentioned in the resolve.conf here it i am like highlighting this use this name server to query it you can use all together a different name server to query the website like suppose uh, here i give uh, this is the site or like i give say dig www.redhat.com okay or say google dig www.google.com here, here here it is so i can uh, rather than specifying my resolve.com file i can point to a different name server that use that name server to query it like i gave dig at the rate ns1.redhat.com i gave redhat.com means i am using the ns1.redhat.com machine to query for the redhat.com and it is clearly visible here in the addition or in in your stats section now the ip address has changed so you you can use the at and the ip address or the names name of a different name server to query your website that can be done 
one more tweak is there that you can use a file also to refer and then point the dig to that file to get the queries like suppose i create a file here vvi names.txt it can be any name and i write the names of the website that i want to query in my case i just write redhead.com and google.com it can be used in your production environments like suppose your job is to check for a particular records for a couple of websites so instead of writing the website names again and again first give google.com then give dig redhead.com what you can do instead of giving the commands multiple times create a file with any names in in my case i had specified the name as name.txt write down all the website names here and then use the dig hyphen f that's it name.txt names.txt and then plus say just it and, and if, if and here if you press enter here look let me check you you know it gives you a hell lot of, inf of information here i had given the command first it, it has queried the redhead.com as it is mentioned in the names.txt file and gives me all information then again it the question section it goes for google.com and it queries everything related to the google and to make it much more uh, efficient you can give say no all plus answer these things can be attached so here I am getting everything related to redhead.com here and then the name servers of the google.com obviously the name servers of the google will be much more in number as compared to the redhead.com that can be done and you can also uh, look for a particular type also say names.txt and I give here sorry I give here mx means I am interested in the mx records for all the names those are mentioned in this file so here comes the MX records of, Ra of Red Hat and MX record for the Google. Here it is. Okay. And you can also use Google. Oh, sorry, the dig. Google is like uh, every time we are in, in, in a problem or something, the name comes from Google. Google. If Google was not there, I think. 90% of the IT administrators must have lost their jobs, including me. Haha. <laughs> okay, move further. You can query multiple sites also. Like I give dig, I give google.com, mx, I give plus no all, plus answer, and then I give say redhead.com, and I give ns, plus no all, plus answer. So the dig has the capability of querying multiple websites with multiple options. So in my case, I'm telling the dig to Google to dig the uh, Google for MX record and to dig the Red Hat for NS records. That's great. Look here, MX records are coming from Google and NS records are coming from your Red Hat. But the last tip for this video, every time. I got the benefit of like specifying plus no one plus answer but the point is that every time I need to write it so dig dub 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 dot google dot com plus no all plus answer I am lazy I don't want this I, I want the benefits but I don't want to write every time plus no all plus answer it it increases my keystrokes what to do very simple if, if you want to avoid this and still want to get the benefit of, of it under your home directory create a file dot dig rc here it is just create a file dot dig rc it should be hidden file so i have uh, put in a dot here dot dig rc and just write the options here plus no all plus answer wow now the point is that why shouldn't i mentioned it in the first tip of this video even i don't know the answer guys okay now <laughs> Instead of writing this, if I write here dig dot google dot com, it is giving me the plus no all plus answer benefit, and I'm not specified ev everything here because it is taking those configurations from the dot dig rc file. So what next? Nothing, guys. It's all for this video. So I I hope you like the video and the tips 
and the small small tricks to make the working of dig much more efficient and i'm waiting for your feedback on the videos not on this beauty can somebody tell me the name of this actor your homework guys your homework i know the name so guys that's all see you again soon god bless take care stop the video now